Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in today for your word for the day. My name is Robert. Got a question for you. Have you ever been in a situation that went from bad to worse? I've had several that come to mind, and most of them involve some sort of repair. There have been times where a simple repair turned into an all-day event because of a broken bolt or because things uh, developed and there were more problems than I knew about once I started the repair. And this is frustrating when it's a project, but when it's life, it's more than frustrating. It's, it's difficult and traumatic. And for the Israelites, they were finally free of Egypt's rule. The Exodus was the process, in the process of happening. And it wasn't just the name of a book, but it was the name of an event, them fleeing Egypt after waiting and waiting and waiting for the chance to finally be free from slavery. But there was a problem. It wasn't enough that they had to figure out how to flee and get out, but now Pharaoh again changed his mind and was upset at their leaving. So he began to chase them with 600 chariots. Yes, you heard that right, 600 chariots individual chariots with their own men and soldiers, and this, this was bad. But it went from bad to worse when the Israelites realized that they were trapped between the Red Sea on one side and 600 chariots on the other side. This was real bad. And we see this summarized in verse 9 because the people, it says, cried out to Moses. They said, is it because there's no graves in Egypt that you've taken us away to die in the wilderness? And I can't help but chuckle at reading that, but also sympathize with the situation that Moses would have been in with trying to figure out how to lead them and also receive their frustrations and worries. So God tells Moses that he will work and save the people. And he gives Moses a plan. And then Moses goes back to the people and he says this, Exodus 14, And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. He said, the Lord will fight for you and you only have to be silent. What an amazing reminder. And that's exactly what happened. God instructed Moses to take the staff that Moses had and that God had given him when he was called at the burning bush. And he was instructed to strike the edge of the water. And the the sea parted and Israel crossed the water on dry land. And they crossed through the night, and the next morning God told Moses to stretch out his hand over the waters, and the waters returned and trapped the pursuing Egyptian armies, drowning them in the water. And the the people of Israel saw this, and it says that Israel saw the great power of the Lord used against the Egyptians, so the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. So let me ask you today, do you believe in the great power of the Lord in your life? Do you believe that God can take that situation that's gone from bad to worse and bring you safely through on the other side? Do you believe that he can take that tragedy and bring something beautiful from it? Do you believe that God can work in the difficult situation you're in right now and redeem it for something good? Or maybe more simply, as you tread water in life and don't know how you keep going, do you believe that God can put your feet back on dry land? Because Moses believed, and even though he didn't understand how God would work, he did this. He spoke the truth of God over his life. He told the people, and probably himself, that God was good, that God would work. He reminded himself and those around him that God would fight for them, and that they only needed to be silent and watch what God did. And then he practiced obedience to God's instructions, even if he didn't understand them all. And then the the obedience to strike the ground with a walking stick, what's that going to do when you've got an ocean and an army on the other side? But he obeyed and God worked. So today, if you're facing something that seems insurmountable, let me encourage you to do the same. Speak God's truth over yourself. Remind yourself that God is good, that God is with you, that God cares about you, that God is able and wants to help you. And you don't have to help him do this. You just need to sit back and watch him work. Second, practice the simple but challenging process of obedience. Work at listening to what God is telling you and simply following the instructions, even if you don't fully understand. See, today I hope that that as you work through life in difficult situations, that you would see God at work in your life so that you can believe in God and his power at work. And just like Moses and the Israelites, that you could sit back and praise God because of what he's done for you. We'll see you next time, Calvary. Have a great day.